Since its founding in 1934 and into the present time, engineering ethics and professional accountability have been and continues to be a key pillar in NSPE's vision, mission, and values. NSPE has always and continues to strive to promote public health and safety above all other considerations. To that end, NSP has launched a major upgrade of its publicly available database of over 600 NSPE Board of Ethical Review Engineering Ethics Opinions. The entirely unique reference gives full access to practicing engineers, students, educators, researchers, and anyone else who wants to learn more about the dilemmas engineers sometimes face in their work. To view the BER opinions, you'll want to visit www.nspe.org and scroll over the ethics section of the website. When you scroll over ethics, ethics resources, click on the Board of Ethical Review Cases link. Once you are on the landing page for the BER case search engine, you will find a few filters at the top of this page for sorting through the opinions, followed by the 12 most recent opinions decided in 2019. Directly below the last case on the page, you will find a pager. Use for paging through the complete collection of opinions. And below the opinions, you will find the NSPE Code of Ethics. Clicking on the back to top icon will take you to the top of the page. Before we talk about the filters at the top of the page, let's take a closer look at the BER opinions listed on this page. Each case title includes the year it was decided, followed by a sequence number and a subject. Below the case title on the second line, you will find the NSPE Code of Ethics references for this case. A definition for each code item can be found by either hovering over the code item like this or by clicking on the code item will take you to the definition found at the bottom of the page highlighted here in yellow. On the third line below the case title you will find the subjects that relate to the cases in the Code of Ethics. The BER has identified key subject words that direct the user to the specific code provision or provisions which address the particular subject. For example, in Case 19.3, Expert Witness, Chair of Standards and Safety Committee, one of the subjects used to categorize this case is statements on technical matters for interested parties to help direct you to the specific code provision. 11.3c, which address the particular subject of statements on technical matters for interested parties. Now let's take a closer look at the four filters on this page. The first filter is a year filter to assist you with filtering opinions based on the year the case was decided. We have opinions going back to 1958, so having this filter available on the page will help you filter opinions on, a partic on particular years. So for example, if you'd like to filter on opinions decided in 2016, you would select that year and then click on apply. And you'll notice the page is now displaying only opinions decided in 2016. Next, search in keywords in the opinions provide you with a way to enter terms you are looking for in the opinion. For example, if you're interested in finding opinions where the keyword conflict appears in the opinions or the case title, all you need to do is enter conflict, click apply, and when you scroll down the page, you'll see a complete listing of, of opinions that relate to the keyword conflict. And also you notice the word conflict is highlighted down the page, including down below on the page where conflict is used in the NSPE 
Code of Ethics. Now let's scroll to the top of the page and click on the reset button to return the page to the default setting where the most recent decided opinions appear at the top of the page. The next filter we want to review is the filter by subjects. For this filter, you should place your cursor in the open field. Click in to see a list of subjects the BER has identified for directing you to code provisions which address the particular subject. For example, if we select competence and then click on the apply button, we will get a complete list of opinions that have been categorized with the subject. Scrolling down the page, you will notice again the subject is highlighted and scrolling down to the NSP Code of Ethics section, you'll see the word is highlighted. You'll see where the word is highlighted in the NSPE Code of Ethics. Let's click on the reset button to return the page to the default setting. And this time, let's take a look at the filter by code section. For this filter, you should place your cursor into the box, click in. To find the NSPE Code of Ethics provisions, when you select the provision and click on apply, you will get a complete listing of opinions that are categorized with this particular code provision. Another way to filter on opinions is to use more than one filter at a time. For example, I'd like to find only opinions decided in 2017, categorized with confidential information as the subject. Then you would select both filters, click apply, and you'll see that these cases are now displayed, these opinions are now displayed on the page. Lastly, let's take a look at a case to talk briefly about the various parts of a case. Clicking on the case title will take you to a page where you will find the case details. Each case has the following information displayed on the page. A downloadable PDF, a case number, the year the case was decided, facts, question or questions, a discussion, NSPE Code of Ethics references, and a conclusion. To make it easier to get back to the main landing page where we started from with the filters, you can click on Board of Ethical Review Cases in the breadcrumb trail. As noted, Engineering ethics and professional accountability are key pillars in NSPE's vision, mission, and values. The NSPE Board of Ethical Review will continue to be a critical tool in heightening the importance of engineering ethics.